Good day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at Your Health. On today's program, we want to talk about glucomannan, the dietary soluble fiber. Now, the comedians make fun of dietary fiber, don't they? But fiber is essential for good health. And on today's program, we want to help you understand how to best supplement fiber and how to best get it in your diet. That's our concept for today. But first, let's go to our news. Let's see what's happening in the health world. Heart disease risk factors also increase the risk of having shoulder problems. Researchers from the University of Utah evaluated health data on over 1,200 skilled laborers. They found as heart disease risk factors increased, so did the likelihood the subject would suffer from shoulder joint problems such as bicep tendonitis, rotator cuff tendonitis, or even rotator cuff tears. The study subjects with the highest risk for coronary artery disease were 460% more likely to have shoulder pain and 600% more likely to have rotator cuff problems such as tendonitis or a tear of the cuff. It has long been recognized that when a person is having a heart attack, the pain of the attack may be referred to a normal shoulder However, this is the first study to find a connection between elevated heart disease risk and shoulder joint and tendon problems. The study was published by Occupational and Environmental Medicine. Well, this one will certainly get your attention. If you have elevated risk factors for heart disease, such as elevated blood pressure, high cholesterol, tobacco use, diabetes, or sedentary behaviors, you are also more likely to have shoulder joint problems such as tendonitis of the bicep or rotator cuff tendons and possibly even a rotator cuff tear. And as noted, we have long observed that when someone is having the pain of a heart attack or angina, the pain is often referred to or it travels into the shoulder, but it is always assumed the shoulder was normal. It's a referred pain. Now, this new finding is different. Elevated risk for heart disease also increases your risk of shoulder joint problems, not just referred pain. The authors of the study were quick to point out if you've been diagnosed with a shoulder joint problem such as rotator cuff tear, it would be wise to also have your heart evaluated as you are at heightened risk for also having a heart attack, especially if you are a senior. So the association works both ways. Now, previous research has found an association between coronary artery disease and carpal tunnel syndrome, Achilles tendonitis, and tennis elbow. With our new study, we can now add shoulder joint and tendon problems to the list. While we're on the subject of heart disease, referred pain, and associated musculoskeletal conditions, let's review the common symptoms of heart attack. They're varied in many. They are chest pain and pressure, pronounced fatigue, a sense of anxiety or impending doom, shortness of breath, pain in the jaw, neck, ear, or even into the shoulder and with the arm. There may be a sense of indigestion, fullness, or even heartburn and nausea. And of course, there may be irregular heartbeats, or you may have no pain at all. You just feel bad. Now, if you experience any of these symptoms, please get it checked out as soon as possible. Researchers from Washington University in St. Louis may have discovered why so many people have a hard time losing weight. The researchers found when laboratory animals were switched from an unrestricted, refined American-style diet to a calorie-restricted, plant-based, healthy diet, weight loss is slow to follow. This is the failed diet effect so many encounter. The researchers found the reason for the slow weight loss in spite of diet correction is the standard American refined diet leads to intestinal bacteria changes that promote weight gain even after the diet has been changed to a healthy plant-based weight loss diet. The researchers were able to prove the key to weight loss success is taking steps to change the intestinal bacteria to the types associated with a healthy plant-based whole foods diet. The study was published by Cell Host and Microbe. Well, this study may provide a huge breakthrough capable of helping thousands achieve their weight loss goals. Now, here's the problem. Many times people start a weight loss program, yet they fail to lose weight even though they are eating right and they exercise as best they can. Does that sound familiar? Well, why does this happen? Now, I've had dozens of patients tell me they're so discouraged that they abandon all hopes of ever attaining their ideal weight goals. They return to their old way of eating and more weight gain follows. That's discouraging, isn't it? What this team of researchers found is when we eat a refined and processed diet, low in plant-based foods, you know, the typical American fast and prepackaged food diet, it causes a change in your intestinal bacteria that continues on promoting weight gain even though you're trying your best to lose. This explains the problem, but how do we fix it and achieve our weight loss goals? The key is probiotics, healthy foods, and dietary fiber all together. Take probiotics as a supplement and in the form of probiotic-containing foods such as yogurt, 
cottage cheese, sour cream, and kefir in your daily diet. And doing so helps to convert the weight loss resistant intestinal bacteria into weight loss promoting bacteria found in thin and active people's intestinal tract. Now these little tips can make your next weight loss effort successful. Well today on Your Health we'd like to discuss the soluble dietary fiber glucomannan. The soothing fiber also promotes the healthy intestinal bacteria that are key to weight loss success. Stay tuned to learn more. Is your life out of balance? It may be. The average American consumes far too many omega-6s and not enough omega-3s. This creates an imbalance. So what can we do to get back in balance? We can eat a healthy diet. And most of us need to supplement with omega-3 rich fish oil. Fish oil contains omega-3s with DHA and EPA, fatty acids that promote good brain and heart health. So reduce omega-6 in your nutritional plan and boost omega-3 to get back in balance. To help you do that, BioInnovations offers two products, the Fish Oil Complex and Omega-369, both formulated for your health and well-being. So how do you choose? For highest levels of DHA and EPA, choose the Fish Oil Complex. For a balanced formula, choose the 369. Go online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Cindy Becker and this is Your Health at a Glance. Did you know the typical baby born in America today has over 200 foreign chemicals in their bloodstream? The world is a polluted place, but just how polluted may come as a surprise. Health experts report that pollution plays a major role in the development of ADHD, obesity, cardiovascular disease, Parkinson's disease, ALS, and a wide variety of cancers, including prostate and breast cancer. There are safe and simple steps you can take to lower your exposure to chemicals. Eat an organic, pesticide-free diet whenever possible. Be careful with the home use of chemicals. Don't consume fish that may be contaminated with mercury. Have your water supply tested for purity and add house plants to lower indoor pollution levels. By taking a few basic steps, we can protect ourselves from disease-causing pollution. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. Have you heard about the health-promoting power of medicinal mushrooms? These remarkable mushrooms include maitake, shiitake, reishi, and ABM. The medicinal mushrooms contain beta-glucans, compounds that promote healthy immune function while helping to coordinate multiple body systems. Innovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Mushroom Complex with Mayataki, Shiitake, Rishi, and ABM in one convenient product. Our mushroom complex features the safest and most powerful medicinal mushrooms available, providing natural support for a variety of health conditions. Bio Innovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. So give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Welcome back, everyone. It is such a blessing to be with you today. Well, you know how we always say that good health begins in the intestines? That is so true. And you know what? One of the easiest things that you can do to help your health is to get enough fiber in your diet and in your supplement plan. So today we're going to talk all about what is fiber, what are the best sources of fiber, and how you can supplement so you can have great health. So, Richard, when we talk about fiber, yes. what just exactly what is it you mean? Well, this is a dietary fiber that we don't digest, and it just passes right on through. Bacteria can use some of this uh, fiber to promote intestinal health, but it's really a, f a foundational component of a healthy diet. And what we're really talking about is the comparison between our native ancestral diets, what humans have lived off of for hundreds and hundreds of years, versus the modern age diet that is processed and refined in very low in natural fibers. A wise physician knows that good health begins and ends 
in intestinal function. Any dysfunction of the intestinal tract is going to lead to total body health problems. It's just a question of time. Any process that interferes with intestinal function compromises health, chronic constipation, chronic diarrhea, diarrhea altered bowel flora such as dysbiosis, medications that affect intestinal function, stress, chronic stress, and we go on and on. Anything that affects your intestinal tract. T.L. Cleave, an MD, Navy doctor who practiced in the early 1900s, and Dennis Burkett, an MD surgeon who practiced in East Africa in the early 1900s. Now these two are important because they were the first doctors who observed the natives eat a certain way, but people back home in North America, they eat a different way and they have different disease patterns. And they attributed these different disease patterns to the diet versus the processed diet of America. This was in early 1900s. This was 100 years ago, and they were already showing problems of health decline due to a processed diet. The native diet was high in fiber and probiotic containing foods, and so, over the years, thousands and thousands, and I mean that quite literally, of research projects have delved into dietary fiber, its components, what does it do for us, what, what, what happens when we don't have it, and on and on. So the summary is, what happens when we get enough dietary fiber in our diet? Well, it reduces your risk of death by 22%, and it increases your lifespan by nine years. Nine years just from adding fiber regularly throughout the course of your life. And an important point is it's never too late to add a little extra fiber to your diet. Now there are a small group of people who have to be very careful about dietary fiber. They've had a, intestinal surgeries, maybe they have adhesions, maybe they had cancer surgery of their intestinal tract, and their doctor has told you a low residue diet, a low fiber diet. That's a small number of people, and you know who you are, but everybody else we really would benefit from more fiber in our diet. The normal colon and intestinal function is highly dependent on fiber. The intestines are like a railway system where dietary fiber is like the railroad cars. It carries the, uh, the food nutrients through the intestinal tract. Well, what is fiber? It is mostly indigestible carbohydrates that carry chyme, which is food stuff at varying stages of digestion in the intestinal tract. So we call that chyme through the intestinal tract. Dietary fiber is found in plant foods only. Now, there are other forms of fiber in the industrial world, but we're talking about dietary fiber. So for us, we're talking about plant-based indigestible carbohydrates. That is what fiber is. That prompts efficient digestion, it carries nutrients and boosts immunity, and plays a prominent role in body detoxification. This often gets overlooked. Our world is increasingly polluted. We all know that, we're all aware of it, we watch the news, we see it every day, we see evidence of this. And dietary fiber plays an important role in pulling these pollutants and toxins out of our system. Intestinal bacteria digest forms uh, some forms of fiber into substances that nourish the intestinal tract and promote health and help to maintain our ideal weight. These bacteria that arise because we have proper fiber in our diet help us to maintain our thinness. There are two basic forms of fiber in our diet. Plant sources have both. First is soluble fiber. What does that mean? Well, it dissolves in water. You put it in a glass of water and you stir it up and it seemingly disappears. It dissolves. It's still there, but it dissolves. Soluble water attracts, excuse me, soluble fiber attracts water and turns into a gel during digestion. It's broken down by intestinal bacteria into active compounds that promote good health. Sources of soluble fiber include pectin. You know when you put the jam on your toast in the morning, that highly viscous, thick stuff. That's pectin, that's a soluble fiber. If you added water to it, it would just dissolve, wouldn't it? But we don't digest that. It tastes good because of the fruit components. The dietary fiber itself is tasteless, it's very bland. But pectin, beta-glucans, glucomannan, our subject for today, and what we call oligosaccharides, which is bacteria food, and it gets turned into food for intestinal cells. How do we get this soluble fiber? From our diet, nuts, beans of all types, barley, oats, psyllium, 
One brand is Metamucil. You've heard of that. Psyllium fiber, it's very common. Glucomannan is another excellent, very well-tolerated source of soluble fiber. Fruits, vegetables, whole foods in general have soluble fibers. The next class of fiber is insoluble fiber. You put insoluble fiber in a glass of water and it just sinks to the bottom. It does not dissolve. It's insoluble. It's real easy to keep track of that. That's just what it means. We think of insoluble fiber as bulking and hydrating agent that speeds the passage of food through the stomach and intestines. It's not broken down to any great degree at all. This includes cellulose. This is the woody fiber of plants and trees, cellulose. We don't digest that, do we? Cows do, but we don't. We do not. Dextrins, inulin, lignin, waxins, and chit waxes, and chitin. There's quite a variety of these insoluble fibers. Some examples would include wheat bran, whole grains. See, these are plant sources. Cellulose from any plant. Fruits and vegetables, herbs, and all various plant foods. Whole foods have insoluble and soluble fiber, both types. And now we have a third category that I just briefly want to mention. It is the synthetic fibers. They may start from a plant, but the chemistry lab modifies it somehow. Methyl cellulose is an example of that. Pharmaceutical companies make these, and they're particularly helpful for people who have extremely sensitive intestinal tracts. Let's say you react to virtually everything you eat, but you need some fiber. You have allergies, severe food allergies. So a synthetic fiber carries no plant proteins of any type, and it's well tolerated by people who have advanced intestinal conditions. Does that make sense? Because you'll find these at the, uh, at the pharmacy, and you'll wonder, well, what's this methyl cellulose? What this, what's this inulin stuff? Well, that's what it is. It's a synthetic fiber. How much fiber do we need in our diet? It is recommended that we have between 20 to 35 grams of fiber, both soluble and insoluble, in our diet on a daily basis. If we were to mound that up, that would equal about five tablespoons of pure fiber in our diet every day. That's the ideal. The average is closer to 12 to 18 grams or about two and a half tablespoons. That's the average in America. So on average, we're getting half of the fiber that is recommended. How much should a child have? Take the age of a child and add five. That gives you the grams of fiber. If you have a five-year-old grandchild, add five. That's 10 grams a day. A 10-year-old child, add five, that's 15 grams a day. Simple formula to help you understand how much fiber your children should be having. How do we get this in our natural diet? Two to three servings of fruit a day, three to five servings of vegetables, and eating whole grains provides sufficient fiber for most people. But this is a whole food diet, fresh from the farm, fresh from the orchard, fresh from the dairy. Not much fiber in dairy products. But you know what I mean, whole food diet without any processing. Who gets this? 5% of the people in our country. Only 5% get this optimal level. A 2008 study found 77% of Americans supplement fiber in their diet, but we're still tragically low in our fiber intake. Now, when we return, let's highlight the foods that are the best source of dietary fiber. We'll be right back. Every day, about 200 million Americans do not get enough of a key essential mineral. That mineral is magnesium. The typical American diet does not supply enough. And magnesium is so important. It protects bones and helps more than 300 different enzymes in the human body perform efficiently. That's why BioInnovations offers chelated magnesium capsules for oral use and topical magnesium gel to be applied to the skin. That's two forms of magnesium to meet your daily needs. Scientific evidence points to chelation as the best method of vitamin and mineral formulation. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Because chances are you are one of the 200 million Americans who need more magnesium every day. Again, that number is 888-442-2128. Call today. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Dr. Richard Becker, and this is your health at a glance. Do you take medication every day without noticing any side effects? 
new research finds that many of our most popular medicines, when taken over a long period, rob our bodies of precious nutrients. For example, statin drugs for cholesterol deplete CoQ10. Acid blocking drugs such as the proton pump inhibitors lower magnesium and vitamin B12. Gabapentin for seizures and chronic pain depletes vitamin D. And hydrocodone, a narcotic for pain, lowers melatonin levels, which can disturb sleep. These are all top 10 medicines in America. If you are taking a daily prescription medicine, talk with your doctor about a vitamin and mineral deficiency as a side effect. For your health, at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. There are thousands of fungal species, and at least 200 of them have been found to cause human diseases. Fungal infections are common, so what can we do to protect ourselves? One solution is oregano, a natural alternative. Oregano fights problems created by fungus and yeast overgrowth, and it improves many other health conditions. At BioInnovations, we offer oregano in gel caps and liquid extract. Yeast and fungal disorders can improve. So take charge of your health by choosing a natural alternative such as oregano gel caps or oil of oregano liquid extract. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. back everyone having an interesting discussion learning all about fiber the importance of fiber in your diet and your supplement plan so Richard now yes. that we've established what fiber is and how important it is and how much we need to take let's start with learning about what foods are really a great source of yes. fiber and how we can start with it in our diet yes Beans are a very good source of fiber, both soluble and insoluble. And I know many of you are saying, boy, when I eat the beans, oh, I can't take it. I'm gassy. It's not good for me. And this is a classic sign of intestinal dysbiosis, when our bowel flora has been altered from antibiotics. And we have programs on this where you can understand dysbiosis, altered bowel flora, and how to treat it and correct it. If we start with small amounts of high fiber foods, take our probiotics, get rid of this dysbiosis with the oil of oregano and olive leaf and these, these various measures we talk about, slowly introducing more fibrous foods, you can tolerate them again. It's surprising. Even uh, people say, well, I can't have any milk now. I used to could drink milk, even as an adult, but ever since I had the pneumonia three years ago, I can't, that's classic dysbiosis. We can restore, see lactobacillus breaks down milk for you. That's a probiotic containing again so we introduce the fiber containing foods the probiotics treat the dysbiosis and many times I can't guarantee everybody but many times we can tolerate at least some milk again it's nice to have a glass of milk every now and then you know what I'm saying so beans of all types black beans garbanzo beans peas lentils soybeans uh, kidney beans pinto beans you name the beans they're all very rich in uh, uh, protein uh, excuse me fibers both soluble and insoluble all fruits especially the skin of fruit if it's an edible skin like the skin of an apple. Grapes, oranges, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, and all dried fruits, raisins. Uh, you know, we enjoy dried cranberries. They're a little tartar than the raisin, and it's really nice in your uh, trail mix or your nut mix. It's a nice treat. Good fiber, vegetables of all types. The longer you cook your vegetables, the less uh, useful fiber there is because the heat breaks the cellulose down. So as we get older, we like our vegetables a little softer. It's easier to digest, right? But there's a point where you're compromising your fiber intake if you make them too mushy. Leave a little crunch, maybe. And as your body adapts and adjusts to a higher fiber intake, you'll be able to digest them better. So you have to work with this a little at a time. We increase our fiber a little at a time. Nuts and seeds, excellent source of soluble and insoluble fiber. And of course, all, all whole grains, whole grains. Refined grains, that's another story. Uh, what if you're on a low grain diet or no, no wheat or uh, no gluten diet at all? The only one of the grains that you'd have is some of the, uh, the uh, uh, heirloom wheats are allowed by some and of course, um, Help me, honey. Oats, uh, quinoa, 
Uh, there are uh, grain options for the celiac disease patient, but you're going to get less fiber because you're avoiding all the wheat and barley and rice, see? So when, if you're in that situation where you're eating less whole grains, we need to make it up somewhere. We need to make it up somewhere. Well, we can do things. We can add a little extra uh, fiber for breakfast, have a cereal. Start reading those ingredients. Uh, the nutritional breakdown, see how much fiber there are. So you need about five grams per meal of fiber to hit that 20 or so. You know, maybe a little more per meal, maybe five, seven grams per meal. Start low, build it up. You can add crushed bran or wheat germ or fiber cereal to your meatloaf. Get creative, you can add things. How about a little um, granola to your yogurt? See, dairy products, there's no fiber in dairy products, so we add a little granola to the yogurt. It's a nice little crunch and you get a little extra fiber. See, I mean, just be creative, you'll cut, think of things. Whole grain pastas. Everyone goes to the refined pasta. It's a real problem. You know, pizza dough, it's highly refined. Go to the whole grain things, make it a part of your routine. Uh, chop and blend your vegetables, cauliflower, block, uh, uh, make little treats and snacks out of uh, carrots and celery, this type of thing. Eat a little piece of fruit with every meal. Add more beans and peas and lentils. You know, we've talked about that. It just takes steps to add the fiber. What happens to us when we do that? This is astounding. When we get that fiber into our diet, if we get about the 30 grams for a man and 25 for a woman, 22% lower risk of death from all causes, all causes, up to 59% risk, lower risk of cardiovascular disease, number one killer, 60% reduced risk of cardiovascular disease, and nine years of life. And these are typically good years of life, enjoying retirement, the grandkids travel, all the things we work for all our lives. Not, oh, I struggled for the last, I retired, then I was sick for nine years, and then I passed away. No, it's nine years of good activity because our disease burden is light. It is that effective, and it's never too late to add the fiber. Just start low. I, I want to repeat that over and over because I hear people say, oh, I, I tried the fiber, and oh, I just, just can't do it. You know, you, you've heard of this. It probably has happened to you. Start low and build it up. What else? The fiber promotes regularity. It prevents constipation. It increases bulk and moisture that stimulates the smooth muscle of the intestinal tract. It gets the process going, helps us to move it through. It increases dietary satisfaction, full with less calories. It helps to maintain our ideal weight. It increases the bulk. It stretches the gut so that we feel full. The gut initiates a reflex that tells us we are full and satisfied. It promotes a healthy weight and it promotes intestinal bacteria that helps set our weight. We talked about that in the news. When you have a low fiber diet, you have altered intestinal bacteria that promotes weight gain. And it is hard to switch it over to the thin intestinal bacteria unless you take the steps of a healthy diet, fiber, and probiotics. So it helps us to keep our weight down by many mechanisms. It reduces postprandial hyperglycemia. Diabetics, that means after you have a meal, see if there's some starch in it. Maybe there's a little fruit sugar in it. It helps the fiber to keep the blood sugars down so you don't have to take an extra dose of medicine. It delays the release. It helps to sustain us longer so we're not snacky between meals you know you just had a nice meal two hours ago three hours but now you want a snack fiber helps to hold you to your next meal one of the keys to healthy living good digestion and thinness is no in-between meal snacks none zip nada it makes a huge difference and fiber helps you a achieve that. It improves the secretion of digestive enzymes. We tolerate the beans better. We tolerate the lactose in milk better. Fiber increases the release of digestive enzymes. Digestion improves with fiber. Promotes healthy bowel flora. Metabolic breakdown creates short chain fatty acids that feed the intestinal cells. Intestinal flora, fiber provides housing for normal intestinal bacteria, creates butyric acid, thus calming inflammation of the intestinal tract. It's just good all around for the ecosystem of the colon and the rest. Absorbs toxins produced by metabolism and bacteria, acts as a sponge, it is critical for detoxification. Reduces cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, triglyceride, and fiber raises HDL. People are taking pills left and right to raise their HDL and lower LDL, and most of them, all they need to do is have more fiber and eat healthy.
Really, it's the truth. Most, not all. Some need the medicine. Absolutely. It pulls unhealthy fats and cholesterol out of the bloodstream into the intestines for excretion, prevents reabsorption of bile, thus lowering cholesterol and the toxin critical for detox, reduces atherosclerosis, plaques, hardening of the arteries, reduces coronary artery disease risk, it influences bile production, reduces gallstone risk, calms inflammation, reduces blood clots, helps the immune system by stimulating T helper cells. Make, you make more antibodies when you have fiber leukocytes and lymphatic movement, stronger bones, less osteoporosis, and on and on. And when we return, let's talk about the risk reduction of disease just from fiber. We'll be right back. Can you lower your risk of disease? The answer is yes. One way is by including fruit in your diet. Fruit contains valuable nutrients that can reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke, and even some cancers. We've searched the world and found four fruits we believe are among the best. Noni from Polynesia, acai from the Amazon, and two new ones, goji and mangosteen. These four juices each have amazing properties that make them great additions to your nutritional plan. If you're a diabetic or have chronic pain, these juices will help you feel better and have more energy. Plus, they help with digestion. Now you can experience the health-promoting benefits of all four in one convenient package we call the Fruits of the World 4-Pack. And remember, it's 50% off by the case. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. I'm Cindy Becker for Your Health at a Glance. We all have said, I need to get some exercise, but how many of us put on our walking shoes and go? Learning a little more about the health benefits of exercise may help you get motivated to lace up those walking shoes. Exercise helps to control our appetite and weight. It maintains strong muscles. It promotes the release of endorphins that counter depression while helping us feel good about our lives. Exercise helps to lower blood glucose, promotes a strong circulatory system, and controls cholesterol. Exercise even helps us get a good night's sleep. Recent research finds dog owners who regularly walk their pet are 34% more likely to achieve fitness goals. You can get all of these health benefits by walking 30 minutes four times a week. Just 30 minutes a day. Start today and you'll start to get all those benefits. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. Different people have different vitamin and mineral needs. That's why Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Multiple Vitamin and Mineral Powders come in four different blends. That's right, when it comes to vitamins, no one formula is right for everyone. For those who don't get enough vegetables in their diet, there's the Organic Green Blend with three servings of vegetables in every tablespoon. And for those looking for a boost of fruit and berry phytonutrients, there's the Berry Blend with three servings of fruit in every tablespoon. And don't forget the Active Adult Blend with extra B vitamins, calcium, and added cofactors like ginkgo and CoQ10. Plus, we've designed a multiple for those with allergies called the Low Allergy Rice Blend. Whatever your unique needs are, BioNutrients has a multiple vitamin that's just right for you. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. We're back everyone learning all about the importance of fiber. This is amazing, isn't it? Such a small thing can make such a big difference in your health. Well, to help you get the fiber you need, we have our Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Glucomannan Fiber. Buy one, get one free today only. Don't miss it. It's not expensive and what a great and safe way to get your fiber up. Buy one bottle at the regular price, get a second bottle free. So Richard, what conditions, should I say, could really be reduced or helped if we were to increase that fiber intake? 
Well, I can make a sweeping statement and say the top 10 killers in America are significantly reduced when we have our fiber intake. These, these are the diseases of Western civilization, mm -hmm. our chronic degenerative process diseases versus the uh, diseases of the ancestral, say the native African who has a healthy diet and has plenty to eat. Uh, you know, someone suffering from famine is not in good shape either. I don't mean to imply that. That person in Africa will very rarely have a heart attack. It's it's very rare. Now they may get malaria, they may have tuberculosis, but they're not going to get diabetes. See, it's the difference. We have treatments in this country for the malaria and tuberculosis. It's much more difficult to manage the diabetes. See the point I'm trying to make? So when we get our fiber, our blood pressure is reduced, particularly our salt sensitive uh, blood pressure, which is the number one health risk in America, according to many experts. Hypertension is better controlled with a high fiber diet. Uh, cancer risk is dropped, particularly the lower intestinal cancers, but also even breast cancer. There's a wide variety of cancers now that they've found. Your risk is reduced when you eat a high fiber diet. Over five year period, every 10 gram increase of soluble fiber per day reduces your visceral, your belly fat, the inflammatory fat, the visceral fat pad by 3.7%. So you can reduce it gradually but steadily over time your visceral, your belly fat, which is the dangerous type, simply by adding fiber. We have lower rates of obesity when we include fiber in our diet. Remember, our low fiber foods are typically fatty, sugar, fried type foods. Probably the worst of all of them. You know, there's hardly any nutrient in it but calories, calorie rich. We have less heartburn. Have you been to the pharmacy lately and looked at the heartburn medicine? There's a whole row of heartburn medicine for we poor overweight Americans with indigestion. They sell more of these than any other class of drug secondary to the uh, anti-inflammatories because we're a pain, paining nation as well. But the vast majority of people with heartburn are just constipated because of a low fiber diet. They're dysbiotic, they're low in essential nutrients because they've been taking proton pump inhibitors and acid suppressing drugs. Start the fiber, get on a good probiotic, a little oil of oregano to calm the yeast down, a little noni juice to promote motility, get into a pattern. The heartburn's gonna think of the past for the vast majority. Some will still need medicines, we know that. Uh, thank goodness for the medicines, but we, we shouldn't go to them first. Go to the fiber, go to the naturals, make it a rule of life for you and your family. You're gonna have a better life doing it this way. Save the, you know, what I've learned over the years is when you don't go to medicines first, then when you really need them, they are highly effective. Have you noticed that? Have you noticed that in your life? Mm. Then they're highly effective, but if you use them all the time, well, that's not working anymore. What am I gonna do? You know what I'm saying? I think you've all seen that. If you've lived a while, you've seen it. What about gout? <sighs> Goes down. Diabetes go down. Kidney stones. Who would think a high fiber diet reduces kidney stones? But it does. Gall stones. That's the number one abdominal surgery in the United States. <sighs> See, the fiber realigns the bile composition because kid uh, bile, uh, gall stones are precipitated bile. That's the, the, a liquid that's turned to a stone. And when you have fiber, it realigns that composition of bile and it's much less likely to form a stone. So gallstones reduce. Heart disease, stroke, hypertension, varicose veins, deep vein thrombosis, vascular disease, emboli, pulmonary embolism, all these go down in high fiber cultures. Appendicitis, diverticulosis, diverticulitis, hemorrhoids, colon polyps, colon cancer, inflammatory bowel disease, dental caries, cavities, autoimmune disease, various arthritis of a wide variety, pernicious anemia, multiple sclerosis and the autoimmune diseases in general, thyroid disease, and many, many more. Many more. Now, best for last. When we return from these important messages, I want to introduce to you glucomanin, one of the most tolerable, well-soothing, soluble forms of fiber available today. It's where you start with your fiber plan. We're gonna talk about it next. We'll be right back.
Are you one of the 62 million Americans suffering from gastrointestinal problems? Do you struggle with other chronic conditions? That's why we offer Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics. After years of research, we developed a revolutionary probiotic formula with gastro defense technology. This system protects the good bacteria from stomach acid so the probiotics reach the intestines where they go to work. Additionally, we use live count technology to prolong the shelf life of the probiotics, so there's no need for refrigeration. Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics is a powerful combination and one of the most effective formulas available today. And we offer a children's chewable formula too, both at prices you can afford. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. this holiday season, think of the words of the English writer G.K. Chesterton who said, when it comes to life, the critical thing is whether you take things for granted or take them with gratitude. No matter the size of our problem, Jesus cares. The Apostle Paul gave the Philippian church this advice in Philippians 4, 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. holds the answer to your health needs? Are you looking for a supplement that's simple and pure, yet really works? If you're looking for nature's answer to better health, look to Aloha Noni Juice. It's pure and fresh, just like nature intended. Aloha Noni Juice is brought to you direct from the islands of Polynesia. Aloha Noni Juice is 100% pure with no added sugar or sweet fruit fillers. It's the perfect addition to your low sugar diet. Aloha Noni Juice drinkers will tell you their vitality, energy, and sense of well-being have improved, along with relief from many painful conditions. Made by nature, proven by science. Aloha Noni Juice contains only nature's best. And now you can enjoy the benefits of our new 100% certified organic Noni Juice. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. We're back everyone talking about the importance of fiber in our diets and to help you we have the Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Glucoman and Fiber. Buy one get one free today. Fantastic price. You buy one bottle at the regular price and you'll get a second bottle free. So don't miss out on this one. So Richard, talk to us about supplementing with glucomannan and why yeah. glucomannan? You know, there's several types of fiber on the market today. You can go to the pharmacy and see psyllium and, and we have psyllium fiber and it works well for a lot of people. There's also bran and wheat germ and flaxseed fiber. There's a wide variety of fibers that you can use as a dietary supplement. The problem with so many of these that contain higher levels of insoluble fiber is it cause bloating and gas in a lot of people who are not used to dietary fiber. And that can be very discouraging and hard to sort out because you know you need more fiber, but I just oh, I don't feel right with them. There's also the synthetic fibers. We talked about that, and those are primarily for people with extremely sensitive intestinal tracts. Just keep that in mind, and you'll understand that. Now, <clears throat> If you have IBS and grain sensitivities, obviously you can't be taking wheat germ or wheat bran to supplement your fiber. You're going to create more trouble than you ever dreamed of having. So we need a, a source to start our process of increasing our fiber in our diet. In our humble opinions, we've looked all over and the glucomannan fiber is the one to start with. Glucomannan is a soluble fiber. It's very well tolerated. It is found 
in taken from the konjac root or juru that's a chinese root word juru in chinese but konjac root will do for us and it is well tolerated this plant is a member of the yam family and the uh, soluble fiber called glucomannan is extracted from that and put in a capsule for us it absorbs 50 times its weight in water so if we were to do a powder of glucomannan and put it in a glass of water, it would turn into a slurry and it might be hard to swallow. See, that might be a problem for you. So we put it in a capsule and down it goes. Take it with water, get it down, and then in the stomach with plenty of water, it absorbs the water. And then you have retained water through the intestinal tract to promote the proper function of the gut. See? And that helps with the regularity and all those benefits we talked about early in this program today. And we do it with little capsules, and it's easy to do. Now, we're working with our diet, slowly increasing our fiber intake. We talked about that. But this is fundamental to helping you get started with the solid fiber, glucomannan. Now here's some of the advantages of glucomannan. This yam, the konjac root yam, has been used in the Orient as a food for 2,000 plus years. There's your safety profile. This isn't some new synthetic fiber that we really don't know what's going to happen with or some plant that that is just recently discovered. This is something that humans have been ingesting for thousands of years now with an excellent safety profile. I like that. That means a lot to me. That says far more than a six month study of something conjured up in a laboratory. Let's see if it's safe. Is it really? I mean, we get medicines recalled all the time that pass six month safety profiles. We don't want that. We want something that is reliable, safe, used for eons. And, and you have that with glucomannan. It can be a bulk forming laxative, higher doses promote rapid removal, but we don't want to do that, do we? We want to get a steady pattern of regularity. Here's a study, a 16 week double blind, 200 patients. Those who took the glucomannan lost 8.3 pounds more than those who took the placebo and they were not told to diet. Glucomannan helps with weight loss and we've come to understand how that works now through correcting the bowel flora, promoting bacteria that promote weight loss. This is fundamental how it works. Now, you can take the glucomannan and just hope you lose weight, but that's not holistic approach to health, is it? We want the healthy diet. We want to get out and take our walks. We want to get a little sunshine on our face, do all the right things for the dietary approach. And it's the long haul. It's not the up and down, up and down. That is, folks, do you know how hard that is on your health to gain the weight and lose the weight? They, oh, oh my, yeah, yeah. Please, steady is the way. Steady, slow, gradual. If, if you're eating healthfully and you're not experiencing prolonged periods of hunger and deprivation and you lose two pounds a month and over the year you lost 20, 25 pounds, how, isn't that a wonderful thing? And you found a new way to live that you can do. See, that's the ideal. That's what works, that's what keeps the weight off, that's what you're happy with, and you'll keep doing that. And glucomannan is a part of that process, but please use the holistic, pro you will see glucomannan advertised on TV without the educational program we provide with, just say, take the glucomannan, you'll lose weight, that's all you need to do, that's not realistic. And we will never say that on this program because that's not really how it works. We want the complete holistic approach. And, and you're watching this program because you agree with us. So enough on that. Uh, here we go. Glucomannan helps overweight adults and kids lose weight. Big review just published. Confirmed glucomannan helps people lose weight. It's a small but significant weight loss. Human study. Glucomannan lowers cancer-causing compounds in the colon while increasing those bacteria. They've proven it in the laboratory now. Bifidobacterium and lactobacillum growth increases. It's part of the mechanism that helps us lose the weight and keep the weight off. Benefits of soluble glucomannan fiber, proven in the laboratory. Lowers cholesterol 11%, total cholesterol. Uh, triglycerides, 23% reduction, nice, just from a little fiber pill. Isn't that nice? Uh, systolic blood pressure reduced. 
also confirmed in follow-up studies. You know, we like to confirm things in multiple studies so prejudice doesn't get in the way of things. Independent researchers confirm. International Food the Journal of Food Science study explains how glucose, excuse me, it explains how glucomannan metabolism leads to short-chain fatty acids. That's the butyric acid that feeds the colon. They understand how glucoman. See, when we first introduced glucoman to you, maybe 10, how long has it been? 10 years ago? We didn't have all this research. We knew it was a good soluble fiber, it was well tolerated, but now the research is coming in and I like this. I like this, this is good stuff. In diabetics, it lowers cholesterol and insulin resistance. It lowers fasting blood glucose in the diabetic. This is how you improve your health. It has been proven to improve childhood constipation. It's gentle enough to give children a dose of glucomannan to help with their, con give them, give them uh, probiotics as well, please. Lowers cholesterol in children, it's been shown to do that. Uh, here's one, very important, PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. Inositol and glucomannan improves menstrual cycles in PCOS. Add vitamin D and um, curcumin, you really have something. Glucomannan, Inositol IP6, vitamin D, and curcumin, polycystic ovarian syndrome. It improved, it's remarkable. Three months, give it three months. You're gonna see a positive benefit, tremendous benefit in some. Lab animals fed a no fiber diet but added glucomannan. Here they explained how it detoxifies. We know this from good science. This is important to know that we have this type of information. Glucomannan protects sheep and rabbits from aflatoxin induced liver damage protects pigs from typhus damage. Why is that important? We talked about how fiber detox. We, we would never do this in humans, it wouldn't be ethical, but we've been able to prove in animals how it detox animals from terrible toxins and poisons. Isn't That's amazing, isn't it? I think it's just wonderful to have this knowledge. Uh, people with esophageal strictures and obstructions should not take it, and we'll explain how to take glucomannan when we return for our wrap-up. We'll be right back. Vitamin D deficiency is at epidemic levels in the United States. Chances are you aren't getting enough of this essential nutrient. Vitamin D is one of the most important molecules in the human body. It's required for the proper function of nearly 4,000 genes and 1,000 metabolic chemical reactions. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Vitamin D3. Now supplementing with vitamin D is safe and affordable. Studies show that vitamin D deficiency can lead to poor immune function, depression, cardiovascular disease, bone disease, diabetes, cancer, and much more. Starting supplementing vitamin D today for better health tomorrow. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. So give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. I'm Dr. Richard Becker, and this is Your Health at a Glance. Could some of your favorite foods be making you sick? Cases of non-allergic food intolerance are on the rise. This is different than food allergies. Recent surveys reveal up to 20% of us may be suffering from food intolerance. People who have a higher risk of non-allergic food sensitivity are those with other types of allergies, such as hay fever, or irritable bowel syndrome, hepatitis C, chronic indigestion, abdominal pain, or constipation. Non-allergic food intolerance can be delayed up to 48 hours or longer, so you may not connect something you ate two days ago with fatigue, headaches, abdominal pain, or depression. You can keep a food diary and write down everything you eat. Blood tests can diagnose the problem. Or an elimination diet can help you detect the foods that are causing your symptoms. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. For centuries, the herb astragalus has been a staple of traditional Chinese medicine. It's used to create a strong shield, protecting the immune system. Astragalus is also used to support healthy heart and lung function. There's even more. Astragalus helps to calm total body inflammation, a common cause of pain and chronic illness. All of that without the use of medication. That's right. Support your health the way nature intended with astragalus root. 
Bioinnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Astragalus Root Extract. Bioinnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128 or order online at bioinnovations.net and see what Astragalus can do for your health. That number once again is 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Call today. Your Health is brought to you by BioInnovations, trusted products for your health and well-being. We're back. Just a very quick reminder. We have our Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Glucoman and Fiber on special today. It's buy one, get one free, so don't miss it. So, Richard, I know this hour's gone yes. so fast. Yep. We don't have much time, but let's tell everyone how you supplement with Glucoman and Fiber. Well, uh, each capsule of glucomannan contains 575 milligrams of the glucomannan fiber itself. Plus, we add a little fructo oligosaccharide. That is the uh, uh, intestinal bacteria food, and there are multiple benefits to that. So I recommend you start with just one pill, especially if you're on a low-fiber diet and you're, you know, I want to I improve my life, I want to improve my health, I want to start losing a little weight, but I'm not used to fiber. Start with just one, and you can advance rather quickly as you become tolerant of the fiber. But start with one, a big glass of water. Remember, glucomannan absorbs 50 times its weight in water. Now, if you have any esophageal obstructions, strictures or scarring in the esophagus, or you take pills and they get stuck in your throat, and you're, oh man, I can't get that pill down, I'd be very careful with taking any type of fiber agent in a pill form. I, I just wouldn't do it. And I really can't recommend you open the capsule and putting it in water because it can swell more than you realize. And you don't want to get that stuck. We've had very good success with this as long as we're careful with it. If you can swallow your pills, take it with a good glass of water, you're not going to have a problem. But if you have esophageal disease, be careful. You've been warned. We don't want any trouble for anybody. And now that you know, we're not going to have trouble. So start with one capsule, increase as tolerated. Most people, three or four capsules a day is all they need with their healthy diet. If you can't have a healthy diet, it's just impossible. Say you're a truck driver. It is hard for truck drivers. You might want to go four, five, six capsules a day. But three or four to five is typical dose of glucoman and fire. And you can break it up in the day if you want to. But you can take it all at once as well. Now, the prebiotics, the fructo oligosaccharides, these are short chain carbohydrate chains. They're indigestible. It's a form of fiber, and it feeds the colon bacteria that produce short chain fatty acids that the colon is dependent on for nutrition. So, we had that as a little extra something to help improve the health of the intestinal tract. Well, folks, Americans get less than 10% of the fiber recommended in their daily diet. Some common supplements, including psyllium and fruit pectin and various things, there are many available, but if you're starting anew in the fiber supplement plan, you might find them intolerable. Start with glucomannan. It works so well, it's so gentle, and for many, just a little is all they need, but it's tolerable up to higher doses. Include fiber in your daily diet, and foods that you used to be intolerant of with time, with probiotics and altering the bowel flora with the fiber, you're going to find that you can tolerate at least some in the future. It'd be nice to have a glass of milk every now and then, or a little yogurt. Maybe you're intolerant of yogurt, but now you can have the yogurt. And my, that is so good for the health, all those probiotics in yogurt. Taking fiber supplements and eating a diet rich in fiber is an easy and cheap way to improve your health. And it's a lot cheaper than even one day in intensive ICU, intensive care units. That's right. Now that's expensive approach to health care. Well, folks, thank you for your kind attention. We'll see you right here tomorrow on Your Health. Bye-bye. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. In the pit of my stomach, I knew, I knew it was going to be positive. I wouldn't be in this situation if I would have even been taking it if I didn't think it was going to be positive, but I didn't want to admit that. I turned it over, and it, there were two lines. It was a positive test. I remember just being like, oh no. Like, that was all that really went through my head. I, I didn't know what to do. Hear the stories and experience the freedom on real life.
This week on Our Jewish Roots, we begin our examination of the kings of ancient Israel and Judah in our series, Kings and 